Welcome back to the channel. I've been playing a lot of the new indie game Dredge and wanted to give some of my new player tips and tricks for those of you who just started out that I wish that I had known about when I first started playing. Dredge is one of those games though that it's just really fun to figure these things out for yourself, but if you're like me and enjoy min-maxing the game and completing as many achievements as possible, then this video will be just for you. As always though, don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a lot of other guides, tutorials, and content for similar indie games. Now my first tip is to explore every inch of an island when you come across it. The game does an excellent job at rewarding those who explore, whether that be in the form of crafting materials or research parts. The points of interest that you're able to interact with glisten when you get close to them, which will then allow you to explore them. But be careful though because some of these spots are traps. When you're first starting out, going out in the dark with no light may seem like a crazy idea. But while a light will help maintain your sanity and light your path, it can actually attract creatures to your boat. If you run into any of these creatures that may be tracking you, you can always kill your lights to try to avoid them, hopefully without running into any rocks. If you're finding that you're needing money and that catching fish is either too tough or that it passes the day too quickly, I recommend investing in crab pots once you unlock them because they're an easy way to earn passive income. The basic pots only last two days before they have to be repaired, but the repair cost is pretty cheap compared to the crabs that they can catch. Or if you don't want to repair them, crab pots can actually be used as map markers as they show a little crab on your map. They're a great way to mark points of interest that you may want to return to for either a quest or because there's resources that you cannot carry. The next tip is to wake up before resting does a full circle, ideally between 3 to 5 a.m. This will let you get a little head start in the day since generally heading out to sea takes an hour or two, which will put you fishing safely at dawn. This honestly makes most sense considering most fishermen start the day early before the sun rises, so don't feel like you're depriving your fishermen of a good night's rest. Speaking of investments similar to crab pots, you'll want to unlock and equip the trawl net as quickly as possible because it is a game changer. Firstly, it allows you to passively catch fish, yes, even aberration variants, and secondly, these caught fish go into a separate inventory, so in a way, it doubles the size of your storage, even though technically you can't move anything into your net from your storage. Unlocking the trawl net really is the best way to make the most amount of money, even though, and similarly to the crab pots, it has to be repaired over time, but it's extremely cheap compared to how much it can actually bring in. Now besides honking your horn at the other ominous vessels in the fog, your horn, believe it or not, has a purpose which is to scare away crows as they're attacking your ship. If you're following the game's natural progression, though you likely won't run into any bloodthirsty crows till later in the game. For those people that spends research parts almost immediately after getting them, I recommend holding on to two to three parts. That's because certain quests require you to have specific types of equipment equipped, so it's easier to be able to instantly unlock the equipment so you don't have to go grinding for research parts to return to finish the quest. But if you're out of parts, no need to worry because you can actually find them from dredging material spots, even though it may take you a few tries to find some research parts. Now my final tip has to do with one of these side quests which I won't spoil any information on, but it's the only quest in the entire game that can technically be failed. Basically, if you do a lot of exploring outside of the following the main quest line, then you may run into a specific person, and I use the term person very loosely, but they will ask you for a specific type of fish that can only be caught with specific rod environment types that I mentioned earlier. Now, if you put off this quest because you don't have the rod type unlocked, they may die, which will prevent you from finishing the quest. That said, do not be afraid to explore around because the game is just absolutely beautiful and you'll really be hurting yourself not exploring. Just follow my previous tip though and have a couple of extra research parts on hand just in case. Anyways, I hope these tips were helpful and set you up to become the most successful fisherman in Dredge. Now, if you have any tips that you would like to add that maybe you wish you knew about, please leave them in the comment section below. I hope you guys and girls all have a great day and I'll see you next time.